Phil and this is moccasin making video one and today we will be making traditional plain style baby moccasins. For our moccasin project we will need buckskin, sharp scissors, needle nose pliers, and all sinew, size 5 glover's needle, beeswax, grocery bag and pencil, a fabric measuring tape or ruler, and a lighter. We're going to start by sketching the sole and I'm making mine about four and a half inches from toe to heel. Then we'll cut out the sole. Backing the sole pattern with a piece of scrap leather, I'm going to use the awl and pierce the center of the heel and also between the big toe and the second toe. This is where we'll start and stop our stitching. Now we're going to place the sole pattern on a separate piece of paper about a half inch from the bottom edge. Now we'll trace the sole and marking between the toes and the center of the heel. Now we're going to mark the center of the sole and then measuring five inches, two and a half inches on either side of our center mark and then six inches at the bottom. Now I'm going to draw a line from the toes to the first mark in a slight arch shape and then on back to the bottom of the pattern. Then we'll do the same on the other side from the toes to the mark and all the way back. And our pattern should look like this. Now we're going to sketch all of our pattern pieces onto our buckskin. And take your time, make sure your uh, lines are pretty nice and dark so they're easy to cut. And mark our pattern marks. Now we'll flip the pattern and sketch our second top. And again, marking all of our pattern marks. Now tracing our sole pattern to the buckskin. Making sure we hit our marks on the heel and the toes. And again, flipping our pattern then sketching our second sole. For the tongue pattern, you can use any shape you want, as long as the bottom edge is about an inch and a half wide. Now we will cut out all of our parts and I try to cut pretty slow and accurate as possible. After cutting our soles and our tongues out, we will cut one more part 
and this is called a welt. We're going to cut our welt a little more than a quarter inch wide and about 17 inches long. Now we have all of our parts. Sinew comes in like five or six strands, so we'll split the sinew and then we're going to use two of the strands. You can use two to three strands. Then we'll take the beeswax and pull the sinew through the beeswax a couple of times. Now we'll cut the end of our sinew at an angle to make it easier to thread. Then after we have it threaded, we're going to roll the sinew all the way to the end and then we'll tie it with a double knot going through the hole once and then again and then we'll burn the tip to secure the knot before we start sewing we'll make a thimble out of a piece of scrap leather and a piece of masking tape. And just kind of wrap it around your finger and then secure the tape, not too tight, just tight enough to keep it on your finger. Now we'll find the center of the welt by folding it in half and then just marking it where the crease is. To start sewing, we'll first go through the mark on our sole. Then the mark on our welt. and then our top. Now we'll line up all three layers of leather and we're ready to start our whip stitch. I try to keep my stitches about a sixteenth of an inch from the edge of the sole and also about a sixteenth of an inch apart. And take your time stitching and don't feel you have to stitch the whole seam all at once. I usually stitch oh a third or a half of a seam and then take a break. And we'll also give each stitch a little tug just uh, make sure the stitches are fairly tight And also be careful not to poke your finger on the other side. Glover's needles are very sharp. So just take your time, make sure the needle's coming through away from your finger.
Now for our last few stitches to our mark in the center of the heel. Now to tie it off, I'm going to go through the same hole and then bring the needle through the loop, you tighten it a little bit and then go through the loop again and give it a little tug. Now we'll cut it about a quarter inch and give it a little burn to secure the knot. And once again, we'll tie a double knot going through the loop once and then one more time. And we'll pull it to make sure it's secure and burn the tip to secure the knot. Now I'll give the sinew a roll. Just kind of roll it all the way from the needle to the knot. Makes the sinew a little bit stronger. And now we'll continue to stitch to the left. And our last stitch. And once again, we'll go through the same hole and tie our knot. Going through our loop once. And then once again, And we'll cut it about a quarter inch and burn it to secure the knot. Now we're ready to turn our moccasin right side out. And we'll start with the toes and just pushing in and rolling the leather with our fingers. till the toes eventually come out. Now we'll open the back of our moccasin 
and stuff it with a plastic grocery bag. And now we can see that our moccasin is starting to take form. Now pulling the welt out of the way, we're going to cut the excess leather off of the heel from the bottom of the heel. Cutting a slight arch all the way to the top corner. Now we'll start stitching the seam in the back of the heel also using a whip stitch. And we'll stitch about two-thirds of the way up. And then going through the same hole of our last stitch and tying it off. Now we're going to cut our opening from the top corner to our center mark. And then continue, we're going to cut a T-shape from the center mark to a half inch on both sides of our opening. Now we're ready to sew our tongue in. And we'll start with the corner of the moccasin, the corner of our opening, and then go through the bottom of the tongue, and now we're going to tuck the tongue in with the long side flat with the opening, and then we'll sew with a whip stitch. And our last stitch, then we'll go through the same hole once again. And tie it off. trimming it and burning to secure the knot. Now we're going to trim the excess off of the tongue. And now we're going to trim the welt, starting from one side and cut slow, 
especially around the heel, making sure we don't cut into our stitches or the side of our moccasin. And I have my finger inserted in the moccasin, kind of feeling the scissors and almost just letting the scissors uh, rest on the side of the moccasin while I'm cutting. And like I said, take your time. You can always trim a little more off later. And it doesn't have to be real short. The welt is um, there to protect the stitches. Now we'll tie the welt together just using one knot, pulling it tight, and then trimming off about a quarter inch on both sides. Now we'll take the awl and pierce each corner a little more than a quarter of an inch. And now we'll cut two laces. And I usually cut my laces about a sixteenth of an inch, a little bit thinner than a shoelace. And then give it a little stretch to make sure it won't break. And now we're ready to lace our moccasin. And congratulations on making your first pair of moccasins.